Hi, this is April, and I'm here to uh, show you another video. Uh, I've had special requests on how to paint on fabric. So I'm going to show you how we can paint this rose on a um, black canvas. Uh, and I want to share with you some of the other things that I've painted on fabric. There's a lot of different... Um, different paints that you can use on fabric. There's fabric paints, there's acrylic paints that you can use, and also some dimensional paints, metallic and glitter paints. So a lot of neat things out there. So I just want to sh uh, show you how simple it is when you know what you're doing. So I'm going to just share with you what I do when I paint on fabric, um, especially on a, um, a, a uh, fabric that's very dark. Now, before I start, I slid this freezer paper in between, and you want to make sure that you do that just in case. Uh, so, and that prevents the paint from soaking through to, to the other side. Especially, um, you know, for this, it, it probably won't happen. But if you're going to paint, maybe like on a shirt like this or even a t-shirt where the fabric's a little thin you would definitely need something in between there um, so let me show you our brushes that we're using I'm going to use our flat brushes and because I'm loading two three uh, different colors at one time you want to make sure your brushes are flat um, and then I've got the three-quarter flat, the 12, and a script liner here. And I'm just going to use these four colors. And I've got a, a pink color here, which I mix this red with the white to create a lighter shade. And this is Alzerian Crimson, and I've got a light green and a dark green. And the paints I'm using, you can find at any craft store. They come in little... Uh, jars or bottles like this uh, and because we're using acrylic paints we want to make sure that we do use this fabric painting medium and it's this clear stuff that looks kind of like milk it's, it's very thin and what you want to do is mix that into your paints as you're painting acrylic paints without that will dry stiff so what this will do is, first of all, allow the paint to glide on your surface a lot easier, and it will dry a little softer. Um, so it's nice if you're, uh, you know, using that for things that you're going to wear, because you do, you do want it kind of on the soft side and, and uh, not wear something that's too stiff. Okay, so here, let's get uh, started. I'm going to take my three-quarter flat. I'm going to wet the brush and I'm just going to just wipe some water just a little bit and then I'm going to pick up some of this medium and what this does is well first of all it's this medium is going to mix in with your paint and it's also going to um, allow the paint to dry uh, a little softer now it looks milky um, when you apply it, but it does dry clear. Okay, so what I did was I just kind of applied it to the shape that I'm going to paint this rose. So what you can maybe have done before is just to kind of sketch out. And I'm just using a chalk. So just kind of, just a rough outline. So this is where I'm going to put the leaves. Okay, and then if you don't follow this exactly, um, don't worry about it because just water will take all that off, will we'll remove it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my three-quarter flat, pick up a little bit of this medium, and I'm just going to paint this rose the color that I wanted and this is Alzerian Crimson so if you're doing um, if you want your your flower a different color go ahead and, and use a different color you know like yellow or purple pink or blue 
just want to make sure that the color you choose is uh, uh, you know very bright and dark so that when we add the highlight it will be enough contrast so here I'm going to be adding the light pink after I do this so make it nice and smooth and you see this um, by having that medium underneath look how smooth this applies and even if you want uh, even a, a more solid look you can let this dry a little bit and reapply uh, more paint if you want it a little more solid but we're going to be putting a lot of layers of petals on top of this so here is that now with my brush I'm going to pick up a little bit of the pink that I created and that was just a mixture of white and this red and I'm going to go back and forth and this palette I love because it's got a little narrow strip here to put all your paints and then a lot of a big area to do your blending with. So here really push down and blend and that's getting the paint to go inside the brush which is real important. You just want to make sure the colors are not all mixed together. So when you do pick up paint, make sure the pink goes over the pink, the red goes over the red, and very carefully blend back and forth. Now I'm going to add this with the pink on the outside. Look at that. Look how smoothly it applies. So what I'm doing now with the pink on the outside is just um, painting my petals slightly inside where I painted the background. So here. See how simple and how nicely it's gliding? Always picking up more paint. And when you paint on fabric, well, this one here, I'm not pushing very hard. You're just kind of spreading it like butter or frosting on a cake. Now I've got the outer petals. I'm going to start adding more petals in the inside now. So staying very close to the edge, I'm going to paint more petals. I'm just very loosely waving that brush there. As I'm painting this, my eyes are focused on the outside of the brush, which is the pink side, because that's where I want to make sure I'm adding the petals where I want it. Okay, so I've got that. And I'm going to add a few more, and let me kind of explain how I'm doing this, because I'm kind of going a little quickly here. So what you want to do is place your chisel, and your chisel is the bottom of the brush, and you want to make sure that it's nice and flat. You see that? So it closest, so it looks like a line. You see that? And not open because that's what's going to give you the nice petals. So you're going to start by um, standing on your chisel. I'm pulling, and then I'm slowly leaning back gently, still moving the brush, and then releasing pressure and ending on your tippy toe. So when I say tippy toe, it just means you're right on the chisel, and there's no pressure at all. So you want to start like that, and you want to end that way also. I'm just going to add a few more petals. So chisel, lean back. Now the harder you lean back, the more open your flower is going to be. So I, I don't want to open it up too much, but I just want to explain how you get that look if you want it a little more open. Okay, now I've got all the petals that I want. Here, you know what, let me add one more here. There. Okay. Now I'm going to do the, the bud that's in the center. And depending on where you place this, this is where 
or the direction your rose is going to face. So I'm doing two parallel lines facing this way, and that's where I want the rose to face. So this helps by doing two parallel lines, because I'm going to go up and over to this line, and this really helps you if you at least set, uh, space those two parallel lines around the width of your brush. So if I'm using a bigger, bigger brush, your rose is going to be a lot bigger, and your spaces in between is going to be a lot wider. So here, from this to this, there you go. I'm going to do that one more time, up and over. Okay, that's my back pedal. Now I'm going to do the reverse and scoop it. Start way over here, gently, gentle little pressure, and I just did a scoop, and now I'm going to add another scoop right over here, going all the way across, and now I'm going to just kind of finish up by adding my last few petals. So here, rotate the top of the brush, go on your tippy toe, and scoop. Now I've got that little part right here that looks kind of empty, so I'm going to go and put another petal there. Okay. And now I'm going to put the petal on the left side, so I start way up here. Rotate the outside. Go on your tippy toe and scoop it back in. Scoop it towards the the center of the rose. Okay, so there's your rose. Very simple by making sure you have that textile medium and a little bit of water and a lot of paint on your brush. Okay, now I'm going to show you the leaf. I'm going to go back and fill in a little bit more with my textile medium. Just fill in. So that's soaking into the fabric, so when I place the paint on top, it's already filled in inside the fabric, so when I place the paint on top, it's just going to lay right on the surface. It'll be a lot easier to move. So I picked up my dark green and light green, really blend it back and forth. And let's see, I'm going to get a little bit of white. And remember, you can always add more colors. So I'm going to show you here how I'm going to add a third color. Because I would really like that light green to be a little lighter. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of white on that light green side, go back to the same spot, and blend it back and forth. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Blend, blend, blend. Keep blending until you see the mixture here, till you get it the way you want it. Okay, I think that looks good. Now I'm ready to do it right over here. Now I'm going to take the heel on my brush, and I call this the heel, which is the very bottom of the brush. I'm using that to kind of fill in the center. So when I show you this leaf that has two sides, don't worry about the center having a hole in the middle there because it's already filled in. So with my dark green on the outside, I'm just going to kind of wave the brush a little bit and, and turn it as I'm pulling and then create that point. Pick up more paint, picking up a little more medium, go back and blend and do the same thing on this side very lightly. Okay, and pull my stem. Now you can use your script liner if it's easier to do that little line down the center. You see how simple that was? Now I'm just going to stroke this over. I think I want it a little more solid. I'll come back and do that stem later. So here, I'm going to show you this leaf, these two leaves. I'm going to have this one overlapping this leaf here. So what you want to do is 
first paint the leaf that's going to be underneath. And it's okay to turn your surface. So I'm going to turn it this way so it will be easier to uh, turn my brush. So same thing, fill in, get it really close to the very bottom here. And it's just more the middle that you want to focus on. Okay, now the dark green on the outside. Same thing. Make sure there's a lot of paint on your brush with your medium. Because once you pick up that medium, that's what makes the paint just move nicely. You see that? And then I'm going to keep turning it. Now this side you don't have to worry as much because this is going to cover that. But there's the leaf. You see how simple that was? Okay, I'm going to repeat it, same thing. Fill in the center. And get it really close here to the bottom because you want these leaves to uh, make it appear like it's coming from underneath the petals there. So here, same thing. And to create the point, you've got to be on your chisel. And right here, same thing. And I'm not pushing down very hard because it's the surface. You just want to lay that paint right on the surface. So I'm just gently kind of going over that just to smooth it out. But there's the other leaf. Okay. I'm gonna paint the um, the veins in the the leaves here. So I'm gonna take my script liner and put it in water. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the dark green little bit of the, the medium, and then right on the tip, create that little stem there. Okay, so I'll do that over here. And right over here, I'm gonna paint some rose buds. Which I'm gonna switch now to my smaller brush. Make sure you wet it, get all the water out. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of, of the pink and a little bit of the red. And just kind of creating a shape like a bud, like a, a big watermelon seed, I guess. Something like that. Okay, make sure you, you can see both colors. Do three little ones. And I'm, I am using my medium. So, one more right over here. Okay. Clean out that brush. I'm going to pick up my greens. I'm just picked it, picking up both colors. Make sure your chisel's nice and flat. Create my stem. And I'm just dragging my, my chisel right on there. So you can see the stem. Now if you want to make it more noticeable, I can just go ahead and switch to my liner brush and use the lighter green even. So this will show up a little better. Okay. And with the same brush, the 12 flat, I'm going to paint the calyx. And the calyx is that little green that wraps around the rosebuds. So I'm just kind of following the shape of my my rosebud here with my chisel. You see that? One little line down the center, a little bit around that. Picking up more paint. And because this is a dark fabric, 
I'm using just my lighter green here. Same thing, chisel, wrap around, follow the shape of the rosebud. Hardly any pressure, and then put a little line down the center there for this, the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna add a few more leaves, little leaves, so I'm still using the same brush, picking up my medium and my dark and light green, and I'm just gonna lay my chisel and push and end on my tippy toe. So here, I can go ahead and add more leaves. And you see how simple this applies? Okay. And maybe another one right over here. Go back with my script liner. And because these are light green leaves, I'm gonna just, I picked up a little bit of my, my dark green so that it will show up a little better. Pick up that there. And there, I think we're done. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and that you give it a try. Now here, with your, see you've got little chalk marks that are peeking through. Now just take a clean brush with some nice clean water and you can just melt it away and it will disappear. And uh, when you paint on fabric, it doesn't have to be black. It's just nice to have that dark background and bright flowers on top. But you can paint it on any fabric, any color fabric. Hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching.